Hello Aquarius couples and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. So this reading is for my Aquarius couples. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs Aquarius. This is your uh, third week of June reading. Keep in mind this is not going to resonate with everyone which is why I invite you to take a look at the readings for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And of course, the message can go vice versa. Aquarius. 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 The lighthouse. There might be some light shed on a situation. Aquarius. There could be danger ahead, possibly. There could be some type of warning. Okay, Aquarius. Couples. Aquarius, Aquarius. Well, you're the alchemist. So you have the ability to manifest what it is that you want. And I'm seeing that you do have some type of wish. Or this could have been, uh, I'm seeing a, a storyline here where this is a relationship. A repeat of a relationship. Where the two of you took a break from one another. Aquarius. Someone's feeling stuck, maybe trapped in a situation. There could be some type of sen sense of an entrapment. Um, maybe your relationship fell apart or was sinking in the past. I'm seeing two storylines. This could be a, a resurgence of a re relationship. Um, in other words, you, you reunited with this person and you're trying to work it out. Past issues or this is present tense and maybe you're feeling like things are falling apart you're feeling stuck you treasure this person okay I feel like that's past tense because the next card is talking about contentment in your family life seeing your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships come in so all of this drama I feel played out in the past and now I feel like someone trustworthy comes in for you or did come in for you because you're coupled. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition could be very heightened at this time, Aquarius. Um, there could be events behind the scenes that resurface or that surface or something comes to light. I'm seeing any fears that are holding you back. It may be time to release them because some, your fears might have you feeling stuck. Maybe you're going back into a relationship with this person. Like I said, things fell apart. Things um, kind of felt like things were sinking and you felt like you were hopeless to kind of save the situation. And now you're healing. You're healing from the past. Someone came back to heal a situation with you. Could have been Virgo or someone with Virgo in their moon or rising. Or maybe that's you, Aquarius. Maybe that's your Venus sign. Knowledge. You're definitely focused on learning something new. Maybe learning something new about someone or some situation. You've gained some wisdom from the past. And maybe this could be reference to your partner. They may have learned something from the past. They may have water in their chart. Okay, you became single in the past. Now the two of you are coupled and I'm seeing abundance coming in for you. Now abundance isn't just limited to finances, but I'm seeing blessings. Heaven and earth to me, this is like merging together. Yeah, as above, so below, you have the alchemist. You're manifesting different things into your life. Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, you're focused on yourself. You're healing and here's air sign. I kind of get Gemini with this card. It doesn't have to be. It could be Aquarius or Libra. I feel like someone's injured. Someone's hurt because of some type of communication. See, injury on his hand, blood. Someone said something. You know, someone's coming to make peace with a situation where there definitely is love with a water sign, even though this looks like a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. That's water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. <sighs> okay, go into it. Let's go into it. Someone that you treasure 
could be coming towards you or did come toward you to try to make an offer or send you a message to see if they could rekindle a relationship that may have fallen apart in the past. Maybe, like I said, you felt like things were hopeless, that you weren't able to jump in and save this relationship. Okay, so I'm seeing temperance. So for some of you, there could have been a Sag involved with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone is coming to make, to solidify a relationship. This could be um, issues regarding family and home. I'm seeing finances to pick up for you. Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Someone kind of gave up of the fight on this relationship in the past because of a third party situation. References here to Aquarius with the star in reverse. Looks like a situation. Oh, and we've got the Hierophant in reverse. So Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then I'm seeing Libra. You can look at his hands. It could be someone with Earth in their chart and Libra. So I'm seeing conflict, petty drama, petty arguments at work. Even um, with love, that could have been the case in the past. Um, there could have been an Aries for you, Aquarius. You could have been dealing with an Aries and I'm seeing a reunion. This is someone that you took a break from in the past and it looks like this is a break that you didn't want but it all became emotionally drained and now someone's coming to rebuild, reestablish a relationship with you. And it looks like they mean it this time. This person could have been very, you know, their way or the highway, very controlling. So this could have been someone with substance abuse, someone that could have been verbally abusive, physically abusive, um, could have been someone with alcohol issues or addictions. Well, it looks like they're coming to offer you marriage and commitment and they're willing to sift through things, cut through things and get to the get to the truth, get to the core of the issue. Hmm. Someone was confused in the past. They had a decision between two people because of a third party. Oh, Capricorn. So you could have been dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. Capricorn or Leo energy. Toxic relationship. Again, speaks of addictions. Deception, temptation. Someone had a really awful temper. And this person said some pretty awful things to you in the past. And with the Sun card, I feel like this person is wanting to bring happiness, restore happiness to a relationship with past deception. This could be a younger Earth sign you're connecting to. So there, there was some type of communication from a distance, or maybe um, I'm seeing two storylines here, Aquarius. I'm seeing this is first storyline. You reunited with this person and you're sorting out the past. For others of you, this could be a third party situation going you know, ongoing right now. And you might find out something through text, email, or social media. Maybe you're looking through this person's phone, their email account. You might find something out about a third party. Could be another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But once you find out this information, because I'm seeing, yeah, the lighthouse, the light is going to be shed on something. For some of you, this person left a third party. That could be the, no, that's that's part of the first storyline. You could be on guard against this person because of the past. But this person wants a clean slate here with the magician. They wanted to start over in the first place. Um, yeah, this person may have reached out to you from a distance. Oh, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And with the High Priestess, yeah, you already knew. You already knew there was a third party, or you knew something. Yeah, you already knew there was a third party because someone's making a decision between two paths, two people. With work, you have two options to choose from. Okay, you're dealing with a situation where your boss could be really, you know, be a jerk, be very controlling, very by the book. 
You might be feeling like there's too much petty arguments, petty competition. You're ready to pack your things and leave for a better opportunity. But you might be feeling afraid. And that's when I see that some type of new opportunity that you've manifested comes through for you. Um, either by text, email, or social media. And you're redirected. You find your way into something else. Crosswatcher spread is coming up. After this work situation, we're going to discuss work. So I'm seeing some type of celebration after leaving, walking away from something. Some type of work situation where things become very um, solid. Maybe you're trying to establish a business. And yes, I'm seeing that someone could be reaching out. There could be a third party. I'm seeing communication from a distance, text, email, social media. Someone's leaving a message. And maybe that's how you find out about a third party. Someone could be leaving for a third party. I'm seeing conflict and drama at home. Uh, I'm seeing that you maybe have a desire. Yeah, higher knowledge. You're wanting to gain something, some new insights. You're wanting to learn something new. Maybe you're going back to school. But yeah, I'm seeing something comes to light here. Aquarius couples. personal power okay and you're realizing that personal power and you're leaving a situation that could have been full of illusions and I feel like that could be with work as well some type of illusion yeah you're getting in touch with your spirit guides I feel and you're taking a rest you're taking a break from work you need rest because I feel like there could be a lot of drama, a lot of extra going on. Protection. I feel like you're trying to protect yourself, putting on this armor, protecting yourself against getting hurt again by this person. Okay, let's take a look at how the cross watchers might be feeling. Cross watcher spread. Mm, trickery. They fear trickery. That's why their guard is up. They may have found something. Your cross watcher may have found some type of a message about you leaving for a third party. Or for the first storyline. You that's how the two of you reconnected. But from a distance. Communication from a distance. So you could be connecting with a Capricorn. That could be your partner. Your significant other could be um, a Capricorn or Capricorn in the chart. It looks like they waited forever. There could be some type of procrastination. Maybe they feel like you're waiting forever to make a decision about a third party. They feel like you're procrastinating, dragging your feet. I'm seeing someone is really your cross watcher. They're really focused on the past and what played out in the past that didn't work out. You, your cross watcher could be a Taurus. I kind of get sad with this. No, no bow and arrow, but I get the centaur. So when I look at this card, so maybe Sagittarius. Some type of light is going to be shed on something that was done in the dark. Let's take a look at how there's a light in the cave, but everything else around them is dark. So I feel like light is going to be shed. Someone's looking for the truth about the past. Possibly this could have something to do with your child's mother. There could be a pregnancy involved in the situation, or there could be a mother and child situation. They want to feel nurtured. Your, your cross watcher does. They're focused on the past, though. They want to know that you're really here to make a commitment. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. You got the ram there. So Aries for some of you. They feel like they're, they're wondering if you're really going to take the initiative. And they're a bit reluctant to take a leap of faith into the situation with you. 
They don't feel like there's a victory here right now. Your cross watcher. There's some jealousy. Maybe the two of you are arguing about the same things over and over. And maybe in the past there was another man or another woman in the middle of your situation. But then I'm seeing the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. So I'm seeing some type of reunification. So they want to reunite with you. This could, like I said, two storylines. Someone is either leaving for a third party to reunite with someone else that they want to be with, that they had some type of established relationship with before, and they're wanting to marry or commit to that person. Or Aquarius, this is someone coming back, returning to you. Storyline number one, hope I haven't lost you. And they want to reestablish a relationship, but even though the two of you are back together again, it's like there's still a lot of work to be done. Okay, this person humbly came to you and maybe asked you for forgiveness. The tables were turned in this situation. Yeah, I'm seeing someone humbling themselves, asking for an apology. Could be a fire sign. Someone that was keeping their options open in the past. Could be a Gemini. For health, I'm seeing drink more water, stay hydrated, be careful of stressful situations, stressful people, because that could lead to also other health risks, health complications. You may need to take some time to yourself to get centered and relaxed to figure out what it is that you want to do next, because I feel like maybe you're wandering around mate you're in a maze you're trying to figure out what what it is that you want to do you could be feeling scattered thrown in different directions so take some time to yourself to relax you could have a lot of negative thoughts going around i'm seeing the devil here for both of you you and your cross watcher a lot of negativity could have something to do with friends spreading gossip They want to know that you've really chosen them, that this is really over with the third party. So they're protecting themselves. They want you, they, they really do. They want to marry you, but they're feeling stuck. In the past, your cross watcher's feeling stuck in the past. So we have five of cups focusing on everything that didn't go right. And if you take a look in the back, there's someone leaving. They're focused on the fact that you left. Normally with the Five of Cups, there's two cups still standing, and in this case, there's only one. So they feel like you're gonna leave them alone again, that you're gonna walk out the door, that it's the same pattern. So maybe the two of you have this history of leaving getting back together maybe there's this history of leaving for the third party and coming back leaving for the third party and coming back right so they want to know that you've really made a decision a strong stern decision and that you're going to marry them that there's a real commitment this time they want a traditional relationship Someone, one of you could be, yeah, Taurus energy. You have the, the bull here or a cow or bull, Taurus. Maybe someone could be stubborn in this situation. Maybe not accepting help or advice. One of you could be more um, financially abundant than the other one. And I'm seeing Queen of Pentacles is handing something to someone else. Maybe someone needs some financial help. Maybe Aquarius, you're giving some type of loan to other people or vice versa. Yeah, third party. Yeah, they want to know that that third party is done and over with. And for some of you, there's, there's someone leaving for a third party. You're reluctant to really go back into this relationship. But with the Ace of Cups, it looks like you're willing to give it a chance. So I'm saying you're reuniting with someone from the past, Aquarius. And there's still some trust issues with you and this person. Rest and rejuvenate, so yeah. 
That goes back to what I was saying about the health portion of your reading. Get some rest, get some sleep. I can resonate with that. It's two in the morning. I'm still doing readings. Love begins. So I'm seeing a new beginning. I'm not complaining. I'm doing what I love to do. So someone moved on from the past. And the person that moved on is coming back to begin love again. You've been patiently waiting for this person. And I feel like also, or you've been patiently waiting for this person to see the light. You're being patient with the process of reuniting okay someone could be pulling away emotionally because their intuition is telling you that something isn't right that storyline too you've made a lot of sacrifices for this relationship and now you're taking authority because you're tired of suffering in silence so i'm saying someone's leaving for that reason storyline one you moved on from this person now they're coming back to have a new beginning with you and this destiny, this is the person that you're supposed to be with for some of you because this is general. Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, couple, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's do this. Emotional cleansing, rejuvenation. So it looks like you're going through some type of purification, okay? Your water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you're dealing with your emotions. You're cleaning off, cleansing things that don't serve you any longer. A message of love. So this is some, it could be the mother of your children, like I said earlier. You could have a family with this person, but I'm seeing some type of message. This person reached out to you. Or maybe storyline two, you find some type of message of love. Um, on someone on your partner's social media page, in their phone, something, etc., that they're thinking about leaving. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance, eternal dance. So, this is the two of you working it out, learning the lesson, rejuvenation, healing a situation from the past. Okay, so for my Aquarians, Holy Spirit. Aquarius couples, Holy Spirit, show me what you have. What's the advice here for Aquarius? Quiet time. Spirit says take some time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. You got a lot on your plate, Aquarius. Spirit is saying take some time to yourself. Think about what your next move is going to be. Think about what it is that you want in life. And it looks like you definitely have a bright future ahead, without a doubt. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine, Spirit says. So with this relationship that you have rekindled, you might be worrying, Spirit says. You know, for, for some of you out there, everything is going to be fine. Don't worry. You're reluctant to take a risk, but there could be needless worry in the situation. But there's still trust issues because of the past. So that's for my Aquarius couples. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, Aquarius, you can go to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. There is an ongoing sale, 20% off. For those of you who are interested in booking on my website, you can find that sale there. And if those of you who are interested in getting in touch with me on the Instant Go app, go ahead and use the promo code Angela, which is my name, and you can get 10 ten dollars off of a off of an instant go um ten dollars off of an instant go um goodness where are my words ten dollars off of an instant go product service pardon me but the only service that i offer on instant go is readings by text only so keep in mind when you're looking on instant go for me i only offer text okay so with that said, that concludes your reading. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.